Today I'm going to show you how you can set up your own WhatsApp API server using Waha, which is an open source non-official API. If you've ever wanted to automate WhatsApp messages, build chatbots, or integrate WhatsApp into your software without using Meta's official API, now it's possible to do it very easy using this tool. So first, what exactly is Waha? Waha is an open source WhatsApp API server that uses WhatsApp web in the background and exposes a simple REST API. This means you can send messages, receive messages, automate conversations, and connect it with your existing apps, all without going through Meta's approval process. It is perfect if you're building your own tools, running a startup, or just want full control over your WhatsApp automation. In my case, the reason I started using this app is because I have a monitoring script for a very important database. I already had webhooks sending alerts to my Telegram and Discord accounts, but I also wanted to receive those alerts on WhatsApp too. After checking the official WhatsApp API, I realized it was way too much hassle for what I needed. So Waha became the perfect alternative. It's free, lightweight, easy to deploy, and you can run it on your laptop, a home server, or even a cheap VPS. Before we start, the only thing you need, besides a WhatsApp phone number of course, is Docker and Docker Compose installed. You can install them on any operating system by going to docker.com, opening the documentation, selecting your platform, and following the installation steps. Once Docker is installed, we can configure Waha run this command, since on your side will be the first time wait a few moments for the Docker image to be downloaded, and then it will print the username and password for the dashboard, and the API key for Swagger, and it will also create your .env file. Create a new directory called sessions and clean up the terminal. Then run this command to start the application in detached mode. You can use Docker PS to verify the container is running and Docker logs to view its output. Now go to localhost port 3000 slash dashboard. Add admin as the user and the password that was generated during the setup. You can open a new tab and go to localhost 3000 to see the Swagger page click on Authorize and add the API key that was also generated during the setup. Now, go back to the dashboard and click on Edit Worker. Make sure the API key is also added there and press Save. To connect your phone, go to the Session section and click Start. Wait a few moments and then click the screenshot QR button. On your phone, open WhatsApp, go to settings and select link a device. Once it's done, you can close this screen. You should now see your WhatsApp name here. In my case, it's Softsweb, which is set as my WhatsApp name. Now, go back to the Swagger page and search for the send text call. I will replace this body with a request to send a message to myself. As we can see from the output, it's working fine. Here is the screenshot as well. You can see that I successfully sent the message to myself. Now let's build a quick close to real world monitoring script that monitors a test Docker container, checks every minute using cron. If the container crashes, stops or exits, Waha sends you a WhatsApp alert and this will log every action to a log file. Run a test container that we are going to crash later by using this command. Then use Docker PS to see if it's running. Create the monitoring script in your user's home directory. Make sure to replace the log file location, the API key, and the chat ID with the phone number you want to send the alerts to. Then save it and make the script executable. After that, create a cron job that runs every minute. And that's it. Let's check the logs. We have to wait a minute for the script to run and try again. Okay, we can see it's working. Now let's crash the container to see if we actually get a message on WhatsApp. And as expected, we did. And that's it. In this video, you saw how easy it is to set up your own WhatsApp API server using Waha, connect your phone and even integrate it with a simple monitoring script to receive real-time alerts directly on WhatsApp. Now you can use this setup for automation, notifications, chatbots, or anything else you want to build on top of WhatsApp. Thanks for watching and see you next time.